Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as the A Reptiles, and today we're going to be redoing my Cuban Night and Knoll enclosure. So if you saw my last video, we redid my Crested Gecko enclosures, because that enclosure, or those enclosures, just looked so bad. The plants had died, it was just not good looking, and they would look horrible compared to all the new enclosures in the room tour. Same deal for Percy. So I'm going to show you, just like I did there, what most people don't show you. And that's the after effects of an animal living in an enclosure and destroying it. Because Percy's does not look very good anymore. So no judging, because we're going to clean it up. But here is this current enclosure. So it used to be full of live plants. Now it's full of fake plants because the live plants have died, they got trampled. They just couldn't stay alive. He had one big one he loved, but it got too tall and he put him way too close to the UVB and it was touching the heat lamp, so I had to get rid of it. So we're gonna try to put another tall plant in today. The other reason I wanna redo this, I redid this enclosure at the beginning of 2020 and made it bioactive. We have these, um, I forget what these are called, but they're like cloth planters or they're chameleon bins or something like that, chameleon pots, I don't remember. But they're for chameleon enclosures, like these, green enclosures so you can turn them bioactive and plant stuff in them they work great my problem with it is it is so tall that it takes up so much of the vertical space so I lose so much space in this enclosure for him using this so we're taking this out today we're getting rid of it we're just going back old school putting pots in so it's easy to clean so there's Percy Right there, you can see his butt, there's his head. So we're gonna try to trick him into coming out today so that we can redo this. I'm gonna see if I can move this out on my own. It is very, very heavy. So we'll see what happens. All right, Percy, let's move some of this stuff out of the way so I can see you. I can hear you running already. Hi, Percy. Hi, cute boy. Usually I have a toilet, or not a toilet paper tube, but a paper towel tube that I can get him to run onto. But I don't think I have one at this moment. Oh, there's literally one by my foot. Okay, let's see what we can do. Here, buddy. Oh, yep, and he just went back into the corner. So I guess for starts, we'll just keep pulling everything out. The last time I redid this enclosure, I actually just worked right around him and didn't take him out. So that might be what we have to do this time. He might just stay in the enclosure the whole time and I might not have to move him out. Ew. So with the uh, sprayer going off constantly, his super worms got a little wet and they really stink now. I do love this plant though. I like using fake flowers just for pops of color because there's not a lot of plants that are like, you know, really colorful. You know, I think my big issue with getting bit by reptiles is that they bite and hold on. They don't bite and let go, like at least lizards anyway. Because I've been bit, who have I been bit by? I think. Muppet might be the only animal I've, or only lizard I've really been bit by. And she was in feeding mode. It wasn't aggressive, it was a feeding thing. And she didn't let go, and that was painful. The other animal I've been bit by was a wood turtle. Again, didn't let go, super painful. Um, so I know if Percy bit me, he wouldn't let go. And they have very, very good bites. And I was totally okay not having to experience that. You know, he's a good boy. He's great out of his enclosure. But where he used to be a scaredy cat in his enclosure, now he's defensive in his enclosure. He used to just run around. And sometimes I could just stick my hand under him and he'd run out onto my arm without realizing he's doing it. Um, yeah, not anymore. Now he will try to fight back. All right, let's see if I can move all this all this out of here so wow I actually have a snake plant in here still alive sweet everything else is dead 
but we'll pull that snake plant out and we'll save it. I'll use it somewhere, probably not in this enclosure, but I'll use it somewhere. Look at that, it's still alive. All right, so the hard part is gonna be pulling this out of here. It is very heavy, I'm up on a step ladder. I've got enclosures behind me, so trying to get out of here and maneuvering it is gonna be quite interesting, but let's see what we can do. So apparently he has a poop corner and it's missing the bin. So, something for bioactive, because it's literally landing, not in the bin with the dirt. Okay, time to find some mussels, I guess. Oh, this isn't that bad. Since the dirt's all dry, it's quite light. I wonder why my plants died. Oh my god, that's not heavy at all. If you hang out up there, you can stay in. Okay, you just gotta stay out of the way. Yeah. See, you're okay. That was good, you let me grab you and everything. Well, good boy! So I think he got so tired of biting the stick that he just let me grab him. There we go, see, and you're alive. He didn't even fight me when I picked him up. You're such a good boy. Hmm, you're so good. Yeah, and now I'm sorry, but I have to stuff you in a bin so that I can do your enclosure. You're so good. Such a good boy. Oh, and the camera doesn't want to focus, apparently. My camera died, but we'll use my phone. Ready to go see your new enclosure? Are you ready? <laughs> what do you think? Hmm? Pretty cool. So he has plans as well for a custom build once I have more space after I move. So this is a not permanent, not end goal enclosure. I do have plans for another one for him that is much bigger. What do you think? Nice and toasty under those lights, huh? All right guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the upcoming room tour. I'll see you guys later. Bye.